Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Amiibo World Tournament. We are going to be starting off with the seeding round. It will start off with two teams facing each other off in two rounds. The first round will be a two-on-two, -two, and the last will be a one-on-one. -on -one. Items will be on, set to medium. No assist trophies, Pokeballs, or Master Balls. The seeding round will work as each team will, deter will try to get as many points as possible, and it will determine the seed for in which they are put into the tournament, which will be a 1v1 squad strike battle between all three members of each team. First round of the seeding round will be between um, the highlight reel and guns, uh, smoke and guns. I should remember my own team names. We are starting now. And now, Highlight Reel is represented by Mr. Failure and Excalibur, and Smoke and Guns represented by the Iron Sheik and Calibur. We'll see a lot of a lot of action, so I won't be able to catch everything. Thrown box up by Excalibur. It looks like Iron Sheik passed the star over, the launch star over to Calibur. Iron Sheik losing a point already, getting sent up by the launch star to the top last zone. Ooh. Mr. Failure holds on at 76%. I'm just checking the stream because my stream hasn't caught up if, if we're at this point. Let's really hope that the stream has changed. Okay, there it goes. Caliber's got a blaster but chucks it. Banana Peel trips <laughs> Caliber. Excalibur clipping both members of smoke and guns as the morph happens each member each team has three minutes to gain as many points as possible excalibur makes it back on stage as caliber and mr failure go at top atop oh my god it's glitching i'm going to pause the game real quick so it just doesn't glitch okay there it goes Ooh, iron sheet going off stage with Cal uh with excalibur and Excalibur sends Iron Sheik off stage. Ooh. Iron Sheik hitting footstooled by Excalibur. Smoking guns being pushed to the edge right now. As it looks like both teams gained some points there. Ooh. Iron Sheik gained a point and killed Excalibur. It looks like Mr. Failure is going for the items. This is the first time the Amiibos will have been introduced to items in the tournament so far. A party ball is going off in the corner. Filled with bombs. And the game's slightly glitching. It looks like Mr. Failure got hit by five bombs but survives. Now they're fighting the water. Bayonetta <laughs> clipping Mr. Failure with a combo in the air. Ooh, looks like a little bit of a double team on Mr. Failure, trying to block him from getting back on stage. Three, two, one. And let's see how each team did. It looks like Team Highlight will pick up the win. Or the Highlight Reel will pick up a win. The, the points is what matters. Uh, yes, this is right. Negative three to a plus one. As we move on to their singles round. I'll just keep the team battle on. Um... Where is this here? And we'll put them in the right corners this time, because I did not do that correctly. Now the third members of their group 
of both groups will be facing off now. It will be Tullius from the Highlight Reel taking on Hawkeye from Smoke and Guns. Tullius is very well known for making an amazing comeback against Rye Blue in, I think, the first round of the tournament, the singles tournament we did last time. And Tullius seems to be in control for the most part. He's got a bomb, but Hawkeye not letting him use it. Throws it off stage. Ooh, tried to clip him with the ice, but air dodges. Tully has taken this off stage, doesn't really do anything, gets caught by the fire from Falco, or Hawkeye, to be specific. Ooh, game's glitching a little bit. I'm gonna pause it just so it can catch up. Ooh, we got the Rage Gun. This will do wonders for Hawkeye if he used it. Launch Star again. We have seen a kill from the Launch Star already. Falcon hitting the flames, but if only the game would stop glitching. Or the stream, rather. Ooh, tries to hit him with the sword, misses. Ooh, does the splits, Hawkeye. Sending Tullius off stage, and he cannot make it back. And Hawkeye will take a plentiful feast. And Tullius is eating the rest, so Hawkeye can't have it. Smart moves. Hawkeye currently in the lead with one kill. Tullius got a blaster. Really liking playing around that edge as the stage morphs. And the smash ball, the first smash ball of the event has appeared on stage. Will either of them go after it? Doesn't really look like either is going after it. Hawkeye's at a high percent. He's got to he's got to watch. Tullius Ganon kicks him off stage. Still kind of dancing around the smash ball. None of them wanting to touch it. Tullius charging up a smash attack. Hawkeye standing in the corner waiting for him to stop. And more food drops down, and Tullius is starting to eat. Getting back for to 47%. Going for a grab, doesn't get it. Ooh, back throws him off stage, does Hawkeye very well played. Tullius dancing around Hawkeye. Unlike the last tournament we had smash meter is off so the smash ball would have been very helpful being that is the only way for you to get your final smash in the game as we go towards this round i think hawkeye has it with that final kill the back throw off stage i believe hawkeye takes it and we'll be adding some points to his team a plus one giving them a total of minus two. Minus one will give Highlight Reel a total of zero points. As we move on to the next round. Let me set up. will be Team New Horizon taking on Team God Squad. Okay, the teams are set. Ready for the first round, first match of the second round. Johnny and Ray, Rye Blue, <laughs> Re Blue will be representing New Horizons, and Zeus and Athena will be representing the God Squad as Athena is comboing Reblu in the corner, and the two veterans that showed amazing skill in the first tournament, as I said it, everybody gets in, but you have 
Johnny getting the hammer, getting two kills off right at the beginning. Very important. Zeus and Athena staying up there waiting it out as the big bill. Bullet bill. <laughs> Ryu just taking the hit from Zeus there a second ago. Ooh. It's really looking like Team God Squad is getting in a lot of trouble. They gotta work together and gotta play smart with the items. Now, it's a completely different game. Ryu's got the wand, but he's not really staying far away. Oh, there he goes. Gets a kill on Zeus. That will be very effective. Uh, Athena made it back on stage. I couldn't quite see it. Fire. Sending the fire's got that home run bat. Sending her knights out. Zeus coming down, trying to take it down. Johnny, but does not quite get him off stage. Johnny plants a tree. Will it grow? Who knows? Ooh, they got the beast ball. This baseball is very dangerous, and an uppercut from Rye Blue sends Athena off stage. And the game starts to glitch as the stages morph. We're going to go back to the action. Johnny gets KO'd by Athena. In the chaos that is the, the stage morph. Final smash ball is on stage. Will anyone see it? That dangerous tornado sh shield. And Zeus pops it off, killing himself. Ooh, yikes. I don't know if Zeus was expecting the, the sword to throw up and get him the smash ball. Actually sends himself off stage with the final smash. I think that was a miss input, obviously. But you hate to see that. Ryu's got the tornadoes, got got range, and okay, throws it off stage. Athena healing up. There's a hammer again on stage. Do not let Johnny get it. Ooh, Ryblu got it. And he can now edge guard. Ooh, another double KO for Team New Horizon. Really solidifying their lead right now. It's a very scary, dangerous lead that Johnny's team has. But it could all change in the 1v1. Looks like Athena's got metal and a blaster. But time is almost over. Ooh. Rye Blue got knocked up. Could have possibly been a KO, but the game is over. Team New Horizon, to nobody's surprise, picks up a win. But how many points did they get? Plus five for Team New Horizon. And a minus five for team uh, the God Squad. <laughs> Very sad showing from the God Squad as this dominant performance by Johnny and Rye Blue as we go into their 1v1. And now we will go to the 1v1 for God Squad and Team New Horizon. Saber will be representing Team New Horizon as he faces off against the mythical creature of Windigo of God Squad. Saber made it an impressive showing, not making it too far against Gamer Girl, but he was not fully level 50. Now at full level 50, how will Saber fail against the big boys? They're just literally doing nothing. And Saber killed himself. SDs aren't great to see when you're, even if you're in such a big lead. Because that, it's not dependent on how many points you get above your opponent. It's how many points you get above everyone else that will determine your seed in the tournament. Oh, Saber just SDs again. A horrible showing, and it looks like Windigo is SDing. These two are being very unprofessional and just fooling around. I don't know if that was a pity stock, because Saber has SD'd twice, what Windigo was thinking, but this is a professional stage, and they are showing no professionalism as we move to Yoshi's Island. Will we actually see some action in this three minutes?
Oh, near that top blast zone, Blue Shell. You thought it was dangerous in Mario Kart, just see how bad it is in Smash Brothers. We got a, a Reaper's Scythe. Ooh, misses the Blue Shell. Reaper's Scythe could be dangerous at a high percent, but none of them have been at a high percent. They've been SDing this entire match. Saber's got a drill in hand. Does nothing with it. And now Windigo has it. I feel like the coaches of each team, Zeus and... Oh, there we go. Zeus and Johnny are going to have a word with these two members of their team. Showing the unprofessionalism and just all-around tomfoolery. Very much disrespecting the sport and the team. As the stage morphs back and they go back to this stupid corner where they keep killing themselves. Saber's climbing up away, playing a defensive game. Holds a bomb and blows himself up with it. Literally doing absolutely nothing. This 14 seconds couldn't end, or couldn't come any sooner. Windigo has one good clean hit that actually killed Saber. Above, <laughs> Other than that, they've literally done nothing except kill themselves. A absolutely embarrassing display by both teams. Nonetheless, God Squad picks up the win, getting a plus two... And a minus two for Team New Horizon, getting a plus three New Horizon, minus three for God Squad. Let's move into the next round. There we go. Teams called the Sense of Right Alliance taking on Rise Up. Sense of Right Alliance has Kentucky and Hydra well, Team Rise Up has Lady Venus and Gamer Girl. I love when the game just glitches like this all the time. Gamer Girl has enlisted the help of multiple female gamers to rise up in this tournament as the Sense of Right Alliance are trying to stop injustice throughout all the multiple stages. And it looks like Kentucky hits a maximum Slayer thing. Ooh, and the blocks falling will keep hitting Kentucky. Kentucky is at a massive percent right now. And I think Gamers Rise Up is smelling the blood in the water as they both were going right after Kentucky. Ooh, goes for... gets slit... <sighs> Ooh, Peach gets slid off, I believe, as they're fighting this Blast Zone. Those walk-offs can be scary. Please, for the love of God. Is the stream just not updated? I think the stream has just not updated for me. Ooh, we got Killer Whale. I missed... I missed, uh... Gamer Girl getting that, but doesn't really get anything with it. Kentucky getting the turret. As Hydra is being double teamed by Team Rise Up, but the turret comes in, sniping Gamer Girl off the stage. And the stage morphs to the Animal Crossing town. Ooh, going off stage is Kentucky does absolutely nothing with it.
Ooh! Kentucky was caught by the Beetle, but doesn't go off stage. And Hydra gets sent off. <laughs> Kentucky's trying to charge a limit, but Lady Venus will not have it with the turn up. Ooh! Nice KO of Gamer Girl with the star from Hydra. This is a pretty even match, I would have to say. And the bees, not the bees, are targeting Hydra. Limit has been broken. Ooh. Five seconds left. If Cloud doesn't rip it off, when? Oh, he didn't get it off. Hydra in Kentucky at a high percentage, able to stay on. And good thing they did as they take the win. I love it when it glitches. A plus one, minus one. Plus one for the sense of right alliance, minus one for rise up. And I knock everything off my desk. What else could go wrong? And now we will begin the singles bout. Again, we see this stage. Simba, son of Hydra, will be taking on Honeybun, the final member of Rise Up. Honeybun loves using the kicks. Ooh, tries to get a little bit of a combo there, does not quite get it. Really loves chipping away at her opponents until she can get into a kill percentage and hit you with a massive attack. Ooh, will use the toad. Already at 57% is Simba, but he's got the turret. Got that one bomb thing that makes everything hard to see. Ooh, Smash Ball appears on stage. Who will go after it, if anyone? Not a lot of Smash Ball going aftering in this tournament so far. Simba makes it back on stage. There's a pitfall lands on stage. Ooh, footstools him off stage, but he makes it back into the pitfall. Ooh, that almost was a, an amazing combination. And the smash ball, I believe, is gone. Oop, makes it back on stage. This corner has been deadly for many opponents. For many competitors in this game. Tries to throw him, but techs him off the bottom of that platform. Stage morphs. I don't think anybody has been able to get a kill off yet. Trying to throw those turn turnups off stage. 169% Simba's at a high percent, could easily be killed. Gets hit with that parasol as she floats down. Honey Bun smacks Simba right off the stage, this poor child. Ooh, juggling him a bit. And has the thing that Kirby rode one time in, in Final Emissary or whatever. <laughs> but just missed, Simba ducked the head. Gets a little bit of a combo in there. Ooh! Honey Bun definitely showing, putting her team, making her team proud right now. As the final Smash Ball appears on stage, does Honey Bun want to get it? It looks like she's trying to get it. Gets a couple good hits on it. And she hits her final Smash. And tries to just get a quick kill, but doesn't quite get him. Off the stage, Simba hangs on. 
and Rise Up will pick up the singles bout as Honey Bun gets one kill. That will be a plus one, making the total for Rise Up to be zero, and a minus one for the Sense of Right Alliance to also get a zero. And now for the final round of the seeding round. Proving that I don't know the difference between my lefts and my rights. No, I clicked the wrong one. There we go. It will be the lab versus the basement dwellers. And the tag team match will start now. Representing the lab is Jarvis and Morty, and representing the basement dwellers is Tony and Talion. Again, this round is to determine the seed in which you have for the tournament coming up. Ooh, gets an early kill on Morty, does Talion with that bullet bill. Talion had a very sad display in the um, in the other tournament we had. I believe he got three stocked in the first round. So, can't get any sadder than that. So he has a stake in this tournament to prove himself with his new team, the Basement Dwellers. Morty hits with the Beast Ball onto Talion, and a Smash Ball appears quite early into the round. Morty has his hands on that Beast Ball again. Does he want to throw it? Ooh, went for the hammer. Tony hits him with the Tornado. Ooh, hits... Nice! Oh, everyone flying right off the screen! I believe that was a clean wipe. Oh, one of these bombs popped up on stage. Could do a lot of damage on a small, smaller stage, like this one, like WarioWare. Oh, the bomb's about to go off since Morty... Oh no, to Tony flying off. Excuse me. As the stage morphs into Duck Hunt. Ooh, Jarvis getting some combos off. And Tony trying to edge guard a little bit, but does not quite get it off well. Tony will fall into the pit. And Morty will just get a double kill. And a hammer's on stage now. We've seen what Rye Blue and, and uh, Johnny could do with these things. Let's see if Morty can do the same. It's a massive hit onto Tony, but does not quite kill him. The massive damage will be very important later on. Nobody quite understands the drill by just throwing it off. Tries to edge guard with the drill, actually, does Jarvis. Jarvis was trying to edge guard Tally on a bit. And it looks like Morty is wearing Tony's hat. A green version, anyways. <laughs> that, that smash ball looks so nice in the tree. Nobody going after the smash ball. Actually sends it off stage. Could have be broken in like any second, probably, but <laughs> doesn't get broken. And the lab picks up the win in the tag match. That's a plus one, minus one. Plus one for the lab, minus one for the basement dwellers. But could that all change in the 1v1? The final 1v1 we'll see until the squad strike 1v1 tournament.
And here we go. The final 1v1 will be between Dr. Pill and the most Amer American, most Italian man on the internet, Raphael. Both of these men are Italian, therefore their fighting styles will be quite similar. But with the doctorate degree that Dr. Pill has, it will change his ability to fight a little bit. Being able to administer prescription drugs is a huge advantage. Got the blaster trying to keep Raphael to range. Raphael trying to get in, in somewhere, but Dr. Pill has his number because he will call him up when he needs a prescription or when his prescription is ready. The bees going, he parried the bees, parried the pill. And now the bees will be attacking Dr. Pill. He's got an ointment for that. Throws a bat up in the air, gets hit by it, and the blue shell is in the hands of the Doctor. Using the bat as a projectile is a very interesting tactic. Raphael gets sent right off stage. The smash ball is in the arena. Will either of the two pick it up? It, oh, there we go. Some he, he hit it with the bat. And Dr. Pill picks it up, but knocked it right out and gets hit with... Raphael throws the bat, killing, <laughs> taking him out. Okay, I'm gonna pause just for it to, like, kind of catch up, and it didn't really help at all. And now we're going to be sent to a lava zone. I believe it's one-to-one -one right now for kills. Ooh, thrown down kick. Throws him right back. Both of these men trying to trying their best to get these combos off. Tony hits Dr. Pill, sending him off stage. Tony really gotta gotta get some kills to bring his points up for his team to determine the seating of his team in the tournament. Seeding is always important. Ooh, dancing around each other at the edge. Raphael Clit grabs the bottom ledge. Both men staring each other down. More pills coming Raphael's way, and the hammer shows up. Raphael wants directly ooh does not get the kill there we go Raphael getting another kill on the doctor doctor just gonna wait out the time and Raphael will pick up a win for the basement dwellers a plus two and a minus two making the lab have a minus one, bringing up the basement dwellers to a plus one. As I tally the scores to determine the seeds, please wait. <laughs> All right, can I, I guess I can at least announce it. New Horizon has the, has the highest number with plus three. And then actually giving the second highest does the lab with plus one, making them the second seat. The third seat will be the highlight reel with zero. Fourth seat will be the sense of right alliance with zero points as well. Rise Up will get the 5th seed with 0 as well. The 6th seed will go... Or excuse me, oh yeah. Raphael is Basement Dwellers, not, not the Lab. So Basement Dwellers get the 2nd. 6th seed goes to the Lab with negative 1. 
the seventh seed will go to Smoking Guns with negative two. And surprisingly, God Squad will actually get the eighth seed. Okay, the teams have been made, or the, the tournament has been made. And so I can announce the first round as I do everything else. We will have Team New Horizon taking on God Squad again. They will be having a run back to see who will be the best. It's the chance for God Squad to make the upset against the first seed. And here we go. Squad Strike Team 1v1s. Looks like it's going to be Saber versus Zeus. Saber, of course, representing Team New Horizon. Zeus, of course, representing God Squad. Zeus is known as one of the better amiibos in all of the league. Let's see how Zeus handles some new blood against Saber. Only one stock. This becomes intimidating. Each player has one chance to do as much damage to their opposing team as possible. That banana peel being thrown around at what well, was. Marth trying to get some sort of vantage. Neutral air from Zeus. And an early smash ball. Those are going to be very important. Ooh, Zeus getting a lot of hits on it. Could be pretty weak. Ooh. And it looks like Saber takes it. And will eliminate Zeus way early. I think I've I think I've changed my mind. This is gonna be a best of three series. Because I feel like these matches can go fast. So Athena takes the spot of Zeus. I think I'll do best of three. If it's easy. Athena getting some damage. It's always interesting to see how the teams are played out because if you want to you want to do a lot of damage you want to put supposedly your best player up first or if you want to make sure you don't get three stock put your best player on last like new horizon has done by putting johnny on last johnny is a amazing 1v1 player came up in second in the whole tournament last time ooh trying to hit him with the ranged attacks Stage is morphing into big battlefield. Saber at 88%. Athena at 72. Ooh, gets clipped by the soldier. And now we got this sword thing again. Could be used as a ranged attack or a straight up melee attack. Killing Saber, sending him off. Next member of New Horizon comes in, and it will be Rye Blue, sending waves of tornadoes towards Athena. And the Smash Ball is now on screen. Ooh, Rye Blue. Really showing a lot here, actually. Gets his Hadouken sent back, but blocks it with the shield. Rye Blue really wants to take Athena out as fast as possible. At 0% would be an amazing feat, but, uh, but and also Athena wants to do as much damage, kind of on the end of her stock, wants to do as much damage to Rye Blue so Windigo can come in and easily take him out. Windigo was horrible in his 1v1 in the seeding round. Gets a 75%, actually takes him out. It is now a two-on-one for Johnny. Johnny is 
pretty great, so uh, we could see him take this, but Athena clipped the kill, and that's why items make this so much different. It can turn the tides in any section. Parries, but Johnny gets clipped by some magic. The turnips. Johnny really loves to float around his competitors, wait for the perfect opening to strike. Really haven't seen a lot from Johnny. It could take literally one hit, and, uh, and Zelda could be out. Sends her off stage. Floats up. Ooh, and Johnny takes her out. 13% is nothing to scoff at. And Johnny gets into it, does the little combo he's known for. The grab, the down grab into Slingshot. Looks like Windigo's got the Samus jumping thing. Actually, I don't know if I want to do best of three. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see after this fight if I want to do best of three. I don't think it will take too long, but I also don't want it to take too long. Hits with a banana gun. Johnny doing a lot of damage to Windigo. Windigo doing absolutely nothing like he's known for. Ooh! Spin punches. Ooh, grabs him. Throws him to the side. Ooh! It's getting a little scary for Johnny. Johnny could be digging holes. Ooh, and Johnny picks up the win. KOing. If this is the best of three after... If, it, if I have to re-input people, then no, but if I can just go straight up rematch, then yes. You can see. Okay, I have to re-input things, so therefore, Team New Horizon goes to the next round. Once again, beating Team or God Squad. Team Highlight Reel will take on. Did I put that on. Yeah. Team Highlight Reel will be taking on the lab. The lab had an impressive showing in the last round of the seeding round, but they will have to be facing off against Team Highlight Reel, which contains the first ever Amiibo Tournament Champion, Mr. Failure, beating Johnny. If, they, if Team Highlight Reel moves on, they will be facing against Team New Horizon. So, we could see a rematch of the ages of Mr. Failure taking on... Taking on Johnny. I couldn't remember what I was talking about for a second. And we move on to this round. It looks like Highlight Reel is taking one out of New Horizons book, leaving their supposedly best player to last. Well, Dr. Pill, the supposedly best player of the lab, is going first, similar to how God Squad had it. Will, <laughs> will the lab have the same fate as God Squad? Or will Highlight Reel... Or will God, will the God Squad curse not happen for the lab? Dr. Pill dancing all around. Ooh, grabs him. Shocks him a bit. Does Tullius. I paused the game and it didn't pause it. There we go. Dr. Pill getting a lot of damage 
on their first opponent. Tullius gets clipped, sadly does not make it back on stage. Excalibur will take his place with the down air already. Ooh, grabs him, throws him on the ground. Dr. Pill was the first ever competitor in the league to get a three stock. Could we see a three stock in this against three separate competitors? Excalibur doesn't want to let that happen. Excalibur's got a bomb out. Throws it, but doesn't quite get anything with it. Ooh, clips Dr. Pill with his boomerang. As they're really dancing on this edge here. The up air hitting him and, ooh, forward air definitely did a lot, but does not kill. Ooh, footstools. Dr. Pill, Dr. Pull has a lot of these close calls, but is staying in it. And Excalibur will eliminate Dr. Pill. Sent in Jarvis. Jarvis did not do well in the tournament we had. He lost to Raphael in the first round. Let's see how he'll do against one of the better teams, I think. I believe Excalibur also got a three stock against Talion in the first round of the tournament. So Excalibur is not someone to scoff at, though he did get out in the second round. Ooh, these down airs are devastating. This bomb could possibly do something. No, just throws it off the side of the map. Ooh, Jarvis trying to get a nice edge guard by Jarvis. Sent in Mr. Failure. This is the world champion. We'll have to see. He relied very much on final smashes. Let's see how the lack of final smash meter will affect Mr. Failure. He has deed. Mr. Failure S deed. So we will see the lab taking on New Horizons in the next round. The most embarrassing fall from glory <laughs> did Mr. Failure just do. Now Sense of Right Alliance will be taking on Rise up, gamers. It's Team Rise Up. Is this a rematch? It is. This is actually a rematch from the seeding round. Morty never even had to be put into the match from the lab. I'm... Okay, hopefully that actually played. I just... I didn't check the, the stream, but it should have played. It just scared me for a second. Uh, as we reach the middle of the tournament, we probably could have done best of three, thinking about it, but we I didn't really want to. I'm excited to see how Gamer Girl plays in this scenario if I were team rise up honestly I would put honey bun first because honey bun's really good at chipping away damage at people so even if honey bun does end up losing the first round you're probably coming into a very damaged opponent And they seem to have taken my advice, maybe. It looks like Honey Bun will be facing off against Hydra, leaving both heavy hitters in the middle for each team. Kentucky and, and um, Gamer Girl are in the middle of the pack. Interesting play. Ooh, nice combo from Honey Bun. Chipping away a lot of damage from this big heavyweight in Hydra. Hydra's holding his own, too. Ooh, knocking him off the stage a little bit. 
really dancing around this edge. Ooh, Hydra falls through the pits, but gets back on stage. Ooh, Hydra gets clipped by ice, but breaks out of it easily. Being able to breathe fire and all has its advantages. Ooh, sending him with the tail and sends him off stage. Honey Bun is gone, but again, 83% is a very dangerous percentage for any competitor. And Gamer Girl's coming in. Launch Star could be quite dangerous. Ooh, doesn't quite get the paint buckets. And Hydra actually SDs himself into the star. That's interesting. Ooh, it's Kentucky and Gamer Girl 0 0. How will these two competitors deal with each other? Both did quite well, respectively, in the tournaments. Or in the tournament. But how will they deal with items? Ooh, bombs getting sent off. The gamer girl sends her to 19%. Paint roller walks off stage. Blue shell on stage. Gamer girl throws it. And this could be a game changer. Ooh, doesn't get the damage. Really, gamer? It has been all gamer girl right now. Grabs the healing seed. Ooh. A lot of the damage is not being effect aren't really being effectual or effective because of that healing seed, sending her back to 4%. No matter what Kentucky did, it would just get healed back. X bomb. Sets off. Nobody gets hit by that. These pits are very dangerous. Ooh, no, doesn't get the up smash, but a smash ball is on stage and both competitors are completely ignoring it. Ooh, Kentucky got knocked near it and ends up knocking it off stage. Ooh, fully charged limit on the edge of, on the, edge of the stage could be quite scary. Kentucky could use that on the final smash. Doesn't quite get it. Gets a healing center area thing. Both members trying to occupy it. Up smash scoops him. But does not quite kill Kentucky. And now we go to final destination. Oh, they're fighting by the edge? Yikes! Th this is very scary, actually. Gamer Girl's got no gamer juice. And Kentucky is at f 114%. Any strong hit could kill. It's got the Tanuki powers. Oh man, 47, 46%, excuse me, for Gamer Girl. Looking maybe for something, didn't quite do anything. I think there's a Beast Ball in the hands of Kentucky. Or nope, that's in the hands of Gamer Girl. Now in the hands of Kentucky, very scary. Ooh, footstools Kentucky off, but doesn't quite kill him. Drops the Beast Ball, interesting play. This thing could definitely kill any of the members, but again, these amiibos are not... Concent or aren't aren't really affiliated with or understand the uh, items. They're competitive battlers. And Kentucky got the smash ball. Goes for Omni Slash. Gets her from the corner. Picking up the kill on Gamer Girl. Sends her off stage and will send in Lady Venus. Sense of Right Alliance is doing pretty well. Venus at zero. If she can get an early kill on Kentucky, she could bring it back, potentially. She's got to really keep her he, her stock healthy. And she does only at 2%. Send in Simba.
Simba faced Honey Bun in their 1v1. So you'd think Lady Venus and Honey Bun shared some techniques that Simba could potentially use to defeat Lady Venus. But Simba did lose to Honey Bun. How will he handle this 1v1? He's, he's handling it quite well, honestly. Ooh, a Mega Melon or whatever they're called. Ooh, Simba scoops it up, getting back to 9%. That is massive. The members continue to dance around each other, the competitors. Exploding Rat misses. Coming back around hits. Lady Venus sends her off stage, but she makes it back. Doesn't get exploded by the cart from Simba. At 100%, a final smash could really help Lady Venus right now. She needs to try to get that final smash. Ooh, she's not doing it. Come on. <laughs> Yikes, and Simba takes out Lady Venus. The Sense of Right Alliance will move on. As we move to the final match of the first round. Be the Basement Dwellers taking on Smoke and guns. That was a pretty even close match by both competitors, both competing teams. No team should be uh, disappointed in their efforts in that fight. For now, I keep clicking back to it. Looks like Caliber will be starting it off for Smoke and Guns. And Tony will be starting it off for the Basement Dwellers. Brother of the most Italian man on the internet. Making up one half of the most Italian duo on the internet. I would have loved to see how the most Italian man on the internet would have dealt with the gamers rising up. But sadly, Rise Up got eliminated in the first round just recently this is caliber's first ever tournament publicized situation and she blows it immediately very embarrassing iron Sheik will have to take her place tony was not very impressive iron Sheik is just doing the same move over and over again she will forever continue to like doing that for some reason tony's at 48 percent that is a pretty great percentage considering he's the first person and already one person is down i will forever be pissed at iron cheek for consistently doing down airs for no reason and the bomb killing tony i should not be judging her if she's getting results talion another very depressing performance in the tournament looking to get back Iron Sheik has a final smash, but will she hit it? Ooh, she does, and is right on the edge, but I think she's going to push him the other way, if I remember how this... Yeah, she pushes him the other way, still kills Talion. Iron Sheik getting Raphael, the most Italian man on the internet, out and ready to fight. 61% is a good percent. So we'll see how she handles against the most Italian man on the internet. She's got the boomerang that Raphael was using before. And the party popper opens. Iron Sheik will continue to f eat some food, get some health back, get some percent back. This walk-offs are very dangerous. You can get killed at very low percentage percents. And things like this drill could be very dangerous. Just push you right off the edge. 
And Raphael will throw off Iron Sheik. And Falco Hawkeye comes in. Hawkeye did a pretty good. Made it pretty far in the tournament, actually. So, let's see how Hawkeye will, will fare against Raphael. If I remember correctly, Hawkeye was actually uh, smoking guns 1v1-er. So, he, he brought them here and gets the kill. Smoking Gun picks up a win. And we'll be moving on to the next round. They will be facing the Sense of Right Alliance. in the next round but that's not the round we're talking about as team new horizon will be taking on the lab sweet first try Team New Horizon has had an impressive showing so far. Decimating both times. Not necessarily decimating the second time, but decimating the first time. First meeting with God, the God Squad. And taking out God Squad again in the first round of the tournament. But how will they face against the Lab? Who have been impressive in their own right. Taking out the highlight reel, which contained Mr. Failure, a man who beat Johnny in the finals of the first ever Amiibo tournament. The singles tournament, anyways. This is all about teamwork, and the synergy of New Horizon has been amazing, as well as the synergy of the lab. And here we go. Starting things off for the lab will be Dr. Pill. And starting things off for Team New Horizon will actually be Ryblu this time. Again, keeping Johnny in reserves for last, though. Ooh, big Hadouken. 43% ah, trading back and forth percents Lighting the house on fire is dr. Pill with a fire flower <laughs> Tornado spins and punches to the face ooh throws him to the ground Tries to keep things ranged. Each each member trying to get, or I keep saying members. Each competitor. Ooh, holds on though with that after that massive hit from Doctor Pill. Rye Blue needs to hold on. Throws him against the wall. Ooh, misses the big kick. Ooh, catches him. Throws him up. Gets him into these punches and kicks. Ooh, throws him against the wall again, but somehow Dr. Pill gets on top of that. I don't know if Dr. Pill threw him against the wall, but I thought Rye Blue did. Both men getting to very high percentages. And throws him right off. Oh, Dr. Pill gloating a little bit, stretching his neck out. He's at 124%. I don't think he should be gloating too much. The focus here now is to get as much damage on his opponent's saber as much as possible. 
or as soon as possible before Saber can kill him. Saber got a successful final smash, and there's a fake final smash ball, which Dr. Pill is going directly after, but both men jump right into it. Dr. Pill killing himself, getting 59% on Saber. That is a lot. Jarvis is now in here. The real final smash ball is still there for grabs, and Jarvis will get it and effectively hit it. But will the, the big green, the big green... Ooh, Saber survives, though at a high percentage. Saber's got to try and get some damage onto Jarvis before he dies. But able to stay in this young lion, the youngster of Team New Horizon. Gets tombstoned and thrown up. <laughs> that was a great combo. Johnny, again, in a two-on-one position. 14% on Jarvis. This is a lot... This is going to be very troubling for Johnny. Ooh, getting drilled in the ground. Jarvis has been very impressive this round. His AI has, has to have been upgraded since the last tournament where he did not fare very well. Though it was due to un some unfortunate circumstances, he, he it was 100% his fault. The very calm and soothing stage this is as Johnny really gotta Johnny's gotta play defensively. He can't go in and he's gotta wait his turn, gotta get in when he can. It's two on one, getting some massive hits from Jarvis. Look at that wonderful combination. Ooh, tries to hit him with the spinning disc, but does not get him. Final smash. Could we see a house being built on Jarvis? Hits him with the umbrella. I don't know why my brain stopped working for a second. Ooh. Ooh, gets the... Beautiful digs a hole, makes a tree. Sets up a tree for Morty. Morty was not in the second... Or did not make it into... The first round, Morty has been fresh. He hasn't fought any rounds. Johnny kind of fell down there towards the bottom blast zone, but makes his way back up. Parried. Gets out of the way. Johnny's at 82%. This is a very dangerous percentage. And Morty's got the hammer ready to swing onto Johnny. Very scary indeed towards that top blast zone. Johnny going for his little combo and gets hit with the massive hammer from Morty. The lab will pick up a huge upset against the number one seed in the tournament, making going to the finals. But a very impressive round. Morty picks up a win against a weakened Johnny. As we move to the Sense of Right Alliance. They'll be taking on Smoke and Guns. Sense of Right Alliance will be fighting Smoke and Guns. Both teams have been very impressive, and I'm excited to see what they do in the next round. This is the semifinals, the last of the semifinals. We 
will be seeing Caliber taking on S Simba. Simba was very impressive, got the final kill for his team. But it will be Caliber taking on Simba to begin with. Caliber had a very uh, unimpressive intro to the fr into the first round, if, if I if I can dare say that. Getting killed by a bomb quite easily, but actually getting some lovely combos in. And will send an arm through a dimensional portal. Ooh, almost kicked him down with the foot. Caliber is, I think, on her A game, or wants to be on her A game this round to make sure they will be in the finals. But of course, no team is going to give. I don't know why I speak like this. Apologies if it's as annoying to you as it is to me. My brain just stops in mid-sentences. Simba's at 97%, but sending Caliber off stage. Simba drilling into the hole. Simba's getting back the, the percentage, and a bumper is placed in an awkward position. Ooh, and we'll actually get actually will be put into effect on both players this this bumper will hit Caliber's got metal and we'll get him into a hold throw him off stage tries to step on him but Simba gets out of the way smash ball is on stage again smash ball has not been put into play as much as I feel like many of us thought would it would be <laughs> at least I thought it would be Ooh, Simba's taking an absolute beating right now at 221%. Been able to tech. Gonna get this final smash off, hopefully, maybe. Nope. Okay, gonna maybe potentially do something. Ooh, actually does get it off. Does Caliber gets off her final smash. Killing Simba. But her next opponent will be a dangerous one in Hydra, the big heavyweight. Very scary to go up against him. Insta kills her, essentially. She was at a very high percentage. And he's gonna gain he's gonna soak up all his all his health back. And Iron Sheik is in it. Hydra soaking up more health back. Ooh, but Iron Sheik not having it. Getting him back to 24 towards that left blast zone. Very dangerous. Ooh! Actually gets Iron Sheik down pretty early. That's quite scary for smoking guns. They're really playing that left blast zone, and that's what makes walk-off so scary, is that you can get knocked out at a high, or at a low percent, and it will make, and now Hawkeye's got to take on a half-decent Hydra and a fresh Kentucky gets parried in the up smash game starts glitching who doesn't quite kill with that forward smash Hydra gets a lot of damage from those neutral airs it would be very I would think it would be very wise for Falco to try and kill and possibly get this final smash but He's not going after it, so. He smells blood in the water. He, he sees that, that Hydra's fading. Oh, doesn't quite kill. Got the POW block in hand. I think one throw of this could, yep, yeah, does get a kill. Now Fresh Kentucky comes into a, into 35%. Hawkeye, this is actually a pretty close fight. Hawkeye almost tying percentage, now bringing Kentucky over his percentage. Hawkeye has been very effective. A bomb is coming their way, a bu bomb. But neither is affected. Get some chip damage. Ooh, a space invader alien thing could change the 
tide of this match. Ooh, it scoops up Cloud. Will it? Will this kill Cloud? Or will this kill Kentucky? And it does. Hawkeye bringing it back for his team. Smoking Guns will make it to the finals. Against The Lab, who just took out New Horizon. They're off a big win. Not New Horizon, sorry. Um, what are they, who is it? The Lab. The, the Lab taking on smoking Guns. I would have to say that as a team, the lab has been the most dominant, but as having a single unit in Falco of uh, Hawkeye, Hawkeye's been very, very effective at getting kills and bringing his team wins. So let's see how this works out. As Will Falco be able to carry his team? Or will the lab take it? Caliber did pretty good in that second round, or in the in the semifinals. Oh my god, I always do that. I always click the the wrong button on the or the wrong controller, and then it messes up the one side. But will how Caliber fare in this round in the finals? This is her first ever televised tournament. So will she be able to pick up the win? She was not in the last tournament. She doesn't know all these competitors like every other one, everybody else does. And now we have the final match. We started off with Iron Sheik versus Morty. Morty is objectively or arguably the most fresh man on the lab. So it makes sense to start with the freshest man. And Iron Sheik will be coming in. Let's see. Morty Morty was able to take down Johnny. Whether it was a weak Johnny or not, it was still Johnny in their match. Ooh, Iron Sheik edge guarding a bit. A lot of the competitors like going to the bottom of Blast Zone and then jumping back up for some reason. I don't judge. I'm not a competitive player. I'm I'm the commentator. I don't know. Oh. Pretty even so far right now. Ooh, the bomb misses Morty. Ooh, knocks nice catch by Morty. Knocks the piece out of Iron Sheik and scoops it mid-air. Puts it right in his pocket. Ooh, and Iron Sheik again gets another final smash like she did. Morty tries to shield through the final smash. You cannot do that in this game. And Morty will be sent off. Iron Sheik at 58%, a decent percentage. But Jarvis, the cleaner of the lab... Known for getting these kills. Very much similarly like Falco is for, or as Hawkeye is, excuse me, for the smoke and guns. For the lab, Jarvis gets kills. That's what he does. Ooh, doesn't quite get that big up smash. As the smoke and smoke and guns appears in Iron Sheik's disappearing act. Iron Sheik picking up one piece. Of the flying machine. Tombstone pile driver from Jarvis. The second piece is up there, but 
Doesn't look like Iron Sheik wants it right now. Tombstone pile driver. Jarvis picks up the second piece. Ooh, sends him, tries to tries to guard him, block him off. Down air picks it up midair. There's the third piece. Could get a nice could get a kill if she picks it up. Could could end Jarvis. Get two kills right off the bat. Ooh, but does not. Ooh, doesn't get a doesn't get knocked off there, but Ooh, gets one piece knocked out of her. Two pieces on the field now. One's fading. Oh, there it goes. Final smash on the field again. Second final smash of this round. Tombstone pile driver into the up smash. Does not get it all. If Iron Sheik can get this final smash or Jarvis, they could end each other. <laughs> Two pieces in possession of the Iron Sheik. Iron Sheik really holding her own, trying to edge guard Jarvis off the side. Doesn't want to see him get back on stage. Ooh, and the up smash does end up getting her. Send in Hawkeye. I keep calling him Falco. Send in Hawkeye. Both men's cleans and a nice, ooh, edge guard, but doesn't quite get it. Doesn't quite kill Jarvis. And a back throw sends him off. Tries to hit him with a couple more blasters. Doesn't get him. Ooh, goes to edge guard. Ooh, goes for the fire. Doesn't get it. Jarvis forward smash. Jarvis now has a piece of the three-piece fly machine. Jarvis is waterproof, ladies and gentlemen. Do not fear. Back throw off stage. Hawkeye's at 7.3%. Very good. But Dr. Pill was their ringer. Let's see how this goes. Dr. Pill has been pretty impressive so far, getting him into a combo a little bit. Another smash ball appears. Falco t getting two shots on the smash ball. Ooh, dodging the blasters. Game's glitching a tad bit. Smash Ball's gone. Ooh, nice combination from Hawkeye. Hawkeye keeping his distance. Trying to get some blasters at 71%. 71% to 44%. The head bang doesn't get him with the tornado to edge guard. Dr. Pill very good at weaving through the blaster shots. I don't know why I keep pausing in between every second. Blaster shots from Hawkeye into the up air or up smash. Ooh, more pills being administered by the doctor. Fighting in the water now. Nope, Hawkeye. Hawkeye could take this. But don't count out Dr. Pill just yet. Either either competitor could get taken out with one really strong attack. Or a final smash. If I was Dr. Pill, I would want to get that final smash and get Hawkeye out as fast as possible. Back throw, get that final smash as Bayonetta comes into a 95% Dr. Pill. And an up smash gets the smash ball 0%. Caliber wins it for her team. Caliber, the glow up. Caliber will win. Smoking Guns picks up the first ever Amiibo World Tournament.
every team was very good, but there can only be one winner, and that is Team Smokin' Guns. Congratulations. A very even tat-for-tat -tat fight. Thank y'all for watching.